Hi and welcome to a new Hades Innovation Gym session on YouTube and podcast, the place to tone your innovation muscles with design thinking tools, mindset and strategy. And today's topic, which is again upon request, meeting workshop facilitation, five ways to get attention. Very simple, the must have for any workshop toolbox and for those of you who facilitate group interaction need attention of your crowd every now and then to give instructions the larger your audience the larger your group the longer this can take and the most valuable asset we have is time so in this session i'll give you my five favorite tools four with sound one silent three prepared with actual tools you need to buy in advance and two unprepared Let's get to it. Number one and a total design thinking classic. Let's hear it. <laughs> the gong. <laughs> this piece comes in all sizes and shapes. I'm not a seller. I don't get commissions. I'll share a link to this particular one below though, because it's the perfect pocket size gong for facilitating and traveling, I find. Benefit of this tool, you can adapt the volume. according to your audience's attention and you can increase if you need and it's a pleasant sound it's not too squeaky and sketchy because you don't want to annoy your people too much the downside is speaking of annoying people if you hit it too hard it's really loud and it can make people jump and really damage their ears so beat it gently get used to it first before you smash it too hard <laughs> number two a fun gadget sound machine well people love this sound machines are basically gadgets with a variety of sound emoticons like 16 different ones on one machine they come in different versions party version minions version they come in all different kinds choose one with actual sounds and not words the presidential or the teenage phrases the benefit of this you have a variety to choose from it always makes people smile this it's mostly fun for the first time though but then it can get pretty annoying after a while so i would have that as a fun add-on in your pocket <laughs> Number three, the silent sign, the hand. No preparation needed at all. What you do here is introduce the hand as a means to make people aware of, hey, it's time to stop whatever you're doing and give their attention to you as a facilitator. How to do that? You raise your hand high so everyone can see. And then the rule is whoever sees it gets quiet, stops doing the work he, she was doing and just raises the hand as well. So the benefit is it's a very gentle way. You don't have to raise your voice at all. You don't need anything at all. And it's basically a gentle sn snowball effect. Self-organized, basically because people soon also start to make other people notice and it's quiet and fast. Downside, you have to make yourself be seen sometimes. Stand on something, at least if you're a smaller version like me, walk around and wave a bit. Number four, the integrated sound in the time timer. The time timer, as you might know, is also an absolute design thinking facilitation must have. The time timer is a clock that counts backwards visually like a kitchen timer, but without the numbers and noise distractions. It's completely quiet, showing you how much time is left. And then when time is up, it gives you the beep noise. <laughs> the beep noise. The benefits, you have a two-on-one. Your people know the amount of time they have left for the exercise or work they're doing. The downside is it can be overheard easily, especially if it's not silent work. So people are talking, this is usually not enough. So you can still use it as means to show the time i'd always do that but then combine it with another tool to get the attention okay and lastly number five apart from the hand sign this can be used when you don't have a fancy tool or your facilitation box is stuck in customs for instance or whatever then it's time to get creative and use what you have mostly especially when you're in conferences or workshop spaces that is a glass and a thick pen put the pen into the glass and then it. The benefit is obviously you don't, you don't need anything fancy. Most meetings or workshop rooms have glasses and pens anyways. The downside is same thing, it isn't fancy and so the intention, especially for newbies, might not be captured. People 
when they are hearing a glass. It's not a wow factor as much as it is when they see a sound machine or the gong. So my advice to you is have a variety, a mix and match and keep it fresh and exciting over a long period of time. I will give you links down below to each of them. Okie dokie, five ways to get attention. Let me know which one you like most in the comment section below. Also like and subscribe if you haven't done so and check out my other sessions on facilitation here on this channel. Thank you so much for your time and energy and I'll see you next Tuesday for another Innovation Gym session. Have a sweet rest of this week. Bye.